Is your phone your best friend or worst enemy? Join Ava on a hilarious journey to unplug and rediscover the joys of real life connection. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Another notification buzzed on Ava's phone. Bleary eyed and on her third cup of coffee, she squinted at the screen. Breaking news! It blared, probably about a celebrity's goldfish or a hamster on a skateboard. Ava groaned. This constant information stream used to be exciting, but lately it felt like a hamster wheel she couldn't escape. Every spare moment was spent glued to her phone, scrolling through endless feeds, her brain fried from information overload. Today, something was different. A strange sense of deja vu hit her. Hadn't she seen this breaking news yesterday and the day before? A horrifying realization dawned. Her life had become a boring loop of notifications, likes, and comments. This is crazy, she said to her reflection in the coffee pot. Ava, the social media queen, was admitting defeat. She needed a digital detox. The thought chilled her. How would she survive without her hourly dose of internet validation? But the craving for real connection, a face-to-face -face conversation that wasn't through a screen, was stronger. With a deep breath and a nervous flutter in her stomach, Ava did the unthinkable. She shut off her phone, silenced her laptop, and banished them both to a drawer, joining forgotten chargers and tangled earbuds. It felt like burying a part of herself, but necessary. The first day was brutal. The urge to check her phone was a phantom limb, and it she couldn't scratch. But slowly, the world around her sharpened. She saw the bright colors of blooming flowers, heard the sweet chirping of birds instead of ringtones, and noticed the real smiles on people's faces, not the filtered perfection of online profiles. Ava rediscovered the joy of reading a book without pop-up notifications. She dusted off her paints and rekindled her love for art. More importantly, she reconnected with her friends. They met at a real cafe, not a virtual one, and for the first time in ages, they truly listened to each other, shared genuine laughter, and planned adventures that weren't about the perfect Instagram shot. The digital detox wasn't easy, but it was freeing. Ava learned that real connection wasn't found in likes and comments, but in shared experiences, and real conversations. The world outside the screen was way more vibrant, engaging, and yes, even funnier than any online feed. Ava still used her phone, but now it was a tool, not a crutch. She'd found the balance, the sweet spot, between the digital world and the real one. And in doing so, she found a happier, more connected version of herself. Maybe the world didn't need another hamster on a skateboard video, but it definitely needed more people like Ava, present in the moment, ready to connect with the real world, one genuine smile at a time. Congratulations on completing Breaking Free from social media! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, buzzed, produced a low, continuous humming or vibrating sound. Number two, bleary-eyed, having eyes that are tired and watery. Number three, squinted, looked with eyes partly closed in order to see more clearly. Number four, blared, made a loud and harsh sound. Number five, groaned, made a deep, sad sound out of distress or frustration. Number six, hamster wheel, a repetitive or monotonous activity that leads nowhere. Number seven, spare moment, a brief period of free time. Number eight, spent glued, to give one's undivided attention to something. Number nine, fried, overwhelmed or exhausted, typically due to overuse or stress. Number ten, overload, 
an excessive amount of something. Number 11, Deja Vu, the feeling of having already experienced the present situation. Number 12, horrifying realization dawned, came to a sudden, frightening understanding. Number 13, boring loop, repeated actions or events that are uninteresting and monotonous. Number 14, digital detox, a period of time during which a person refrains from using electronic devices. Number 15, chilled, felt an unpleasant feeling of coldness or a sudden fear. Number 16, hourly dose, a regular amount received or experienced every hour. Number 17, craving, a powerful desire for something. Number 18, face-to-face -face conversation, direct communication between people in each other's presence. Number 19, deep breath, a long, full inhalation, usually to calm the nerves or prepare for something. Number 20, nervous flutter, a feeling of slight agitation or anxiety. Number 21, shut off, turned off, stopped from operating. Number 22, banished, got rid of something undesirable. Number 23, Tangled earbuds, earbuds twisted or entwined together in a messy way. Number 24, burying a part of herself, suppressing or giving up a significant aspect of one's identity. Number 25, phantom limb, sensation that an amputated or missing limb is still attached. Number 26, that she couldn't scratch, an annoying feeling or desire that cannot be satisfied. Number 27, sharpened, became more focused or enhanced. Number 28, Blooming flowers, flowers that are opening or reaching their peak. Number 29, sweet chirping, pleasant, melodious bird sounds. Number 30, filtered perfection, an artificially enhanced representation that seems flawless. Number 31, rediscovered, found again or renewed interest in something. Number 32, pop-up notifications, alerts that appear suddenly on a device's screen. Number 33, dusted off, clean something by removing dust, often used metaphorically to mean bringing something out of disuse. Number 34, rekindled, renewed, reawakened interest in something. Number 35, reconnected, established a connection again. Number 36, genuine laughter, laughter that is honest and natural. Number 37, planned adventures, organized activities involving new and exciting experiences. Number 38, freeing, making someone free or liberated. Number 39, vibrant, full of energy and life. Number 40, engaging, captivating or interesting. Number 41, crutch, something that provides support or help, often excessively relied upon. Number 42, balance, a state where different things occur in equal or proper amounts. Number 43, sweet spot, an optimum point or combination of factors. Number 44, connected, linked or having a relationship. Number 45, present in the moment, fully engaged with the current situation. Number 46, genuine smile, a sincere and heartfelt smile. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.